Oh, he's flirting with the girl. He's flirting with the girl. He's flirting with the girl right now. That is a tiny, tiny chrysalis, guys. One of the smallest chrysalis I've ever seen. Right under my nose, guys, there it is. Nathalus Ioli caterpillar. All right, guys, I want to do a video on Nathalus Ioli, the dainty sulfur. But in order to do that, I either have to be super lucky or super stealthy. Nathalus Ioli Caterpillar bulls have this These guys want nothing to do with letting you anywhere near them. I think my only saving grace right now is that it's really late in the afternoon. It's like almost seven o'clock in the evening. And these guys are starting to wind down for the evening. But there's a female, Nathalus Ioli right here. And they are one of the tiniest butterflies in Florida. They've got about a, an inch wingspan and uh, they are a backyard bug, especially if you have a backyard like mine and allow your weeds to start growing everywhere because they feed, I'm gonna show you their host plant, they feed on Biden's Alba shepherd's needle. In fact, this is a female. And guys, comment down below if you actually see the second butterfly in this video right now. Right in my frame, there's two. There's a male and a female. This one here is a female. And it's got the darker markings on the hind wing. And then right up here, there's a male on that other stick. So I'm gonna see if I can get this female to fly in slow motion for you guys, because Let's see how close will she let me get. Yeah, the males. Males have a lot more of a yellow hind wing. The girls have this more of a mottled brownish hind wing. Um, and I'm going to show you both of them. The males right up there. He's got yellow, a lot more yellow. The female here has got brown. So guys, I'm gonna do a video. I'm gonna see if I can get her to lay some eggs on the shepherd's needle and see if we can get some uh, life cycle action going. But I'm gonna see if I can get her to fly in slow-mo. All right, folks, so I showed you up close a female before. She, and there, in fact, there's a female. She just landed again right here. She's got orange on the inside of her wings. Um, can't really, it's almost impossible to show you while they're flying around. But let me show you, there she, oh, there's a male. So the male is a lot more yellow. I'll see if I can get, if he'll land, see if he'll settle down. Oh, he's flirting with the girl. He's flirting with the girl. He's flirting with the girl right now. Look at him. She's saying no thank you. She is saying no thank you. Look at that. All right, so there's the female. Let me show you the male. The male is way more yellow. Oh. Let's see. They don't fly very far, but boy, are they a pain in the butt. Let's see.
I'm gonna land. All right, here's another. Okay, there's actually two, there's actually two females on the same flower right there, guys. Two female Nathalus Ioli on the same flower. These things are everywhere. In fact, this is actually their host plant. Biden's Alba, Shepherd's Needle. Guys, they call it that because of these ridiculous seeds that they have. And these guys here, these seeds, if these catch on your socks, they will stick in your socks. And that's what they call them. And guys, this is the flower. We know them as Biden's. We know them as Shepherd's Needle. It's a composite. And the larvae feed on the, the, the new growth of this stuff. And they really thrive in well mowed areas, like a, like a backyard that is not very well taken care of, like this one. And you know, the grass, St. Augustine grass will weed these out, but when the St. Augustine grass is not healthy, Biden's comes out and they will take over. So uh, guys, this is the host plant. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a female or two and we're going to put them into a little cage with some of the host plant. In fact, we may not even need to. You know why? Because I just found a few eggs. I just found eggs, guys. No need to cage them up. We could cage the females up and get eggs, but we don't need to because right on the tips of this bud right here, you can see these little tiny yellow things those are actually eggs the newer ones are cream colored they last about three days and they start turning yellowish or deeper orange color like the one actually on the flower bud and that guys those are eggs those are eggs and actually this plant this plant is loaded with eggs and i have a feeling that if i were to dig this plant up which i'm going to it's actually a weed in my yard. If we're to dig this plant up and bring it inside, I'll bet you we'll find some caterpillars. So comment down below if you want me to do that because I want to raise these and actually document the life cycle. See, there's another egg right on the leaf there. Yeah, guys, these are... Let's see if we can actually find a caterpillar. I'll bet, I'll bet we can find a caterpillar. I've actually never seen one of the caterpillars for these. I've never really looked. I'm really not sure where they rest or how they act. Okay. I'm actually sitting down in my grass here. Guys, these are tiny little bugs. And I'm looking, see how there's eggs, there's even more eggs. Look at the eggs, guys. I've got three eggs on this little tiny stem right there. Three eggs right there. Now the trick is, where are the caterpillars? Where would they be? Let's see, maybe we can find one on a little bit more of a mature mature plant I see eatings in the leaves that's a good sign but I'm not seeing any caterpillars where would I look guys to find the caterpillars of this of this butterfly I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I am not seeing caterpillars at all just by doing this cursory look. And I wonder why, I wonder where they are. So guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to unroot this little plant right here 
and I'm gonna put it in a baggie and I'm gonna see if we can find a caterpillar because I guarantee they're in there. In fact, there's so many eggs that it's very surprising. Like this leaf right here, guys, has larval eatings on it. And I'm seeing, seeing evidence of the caterpillars, but I'm just not finding the caterpillars themselves. All right, guys, I'm trying my best to show you a, the difference between a male and female dainty sulfur. There's a male right here here we go, he's starting to cooperate a little bit. And hopefully you can see the difference between the male and the female. The female's a lot darker on the underside and the male is a lot more yellow. The girls seem to be a little bit more cooperative too. These guys are just pain in the butt. All right, I think I showed you enough there. So now here's what I'm gonna do guys. Um, I'm coming over here to this shepherd's needle plant, this weed in my yard, that's got plenty of eggs, which we've already seen. There's eggs all over the place. They're so, so tiny. Um, eggs in here on the buds there. And what we're going to do is we're going to uproot this entire plant, and I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag. I'm going to photograph it inside with... Uh, my macro lens, but also I'm betting that there's gonna be some caterpillars on here and we're gonna find them inside. That's what, that's the goal, guys. That's what I'm gonna try and do. So um, I'm gonna put the phone down, my camera down for a minute so that I can do this. I'm gonna need two hands um, and then I'll take it inside and see if we can dissect this thing and find some caterpillars. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so I found something cool. I haven't found a caterpillar yet, but I did find a pupa. So that is a first for me, guys. Nathalis Ioli pupa, dainty sulfur, right there. They pupate on the undersides of the leaves with a girdle, almost like a swallowtail caterpillar or a swallowtail chrysalis. You can see how small this thing is compared to my thumb. That's a tiny bug, dude. That is a tiny, tiny chrysalis, guys. One of the smallest chrysalis I've ever seen. But there it is. That is super cool. Now, we've got eggs, we've got pupa, and we've got adults videoed. No need to raise them <laughs> because I've got all that in, in the video here, but the one thing I'm missing is a caterpillar. So I'm gonna put, oh, wait, 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 there it is, look. Right under my nose, guys, there it is. Nathalis Ioli caterpillar, full grown. I, I That's gotta be final instar right there, guys. All right, I am super excited because right on this stem, right on this stem, I've got the caterpillar. All right, Lorenzo, you got a fish? My son's got a fish. What you got? I'm not sure it's on a gar. Is that a gar? Well, son. I used my last shiner on. Oh, be happy with what you got, buddy. I'm kind of mad at him. I'm kind of mad right now? Well, my son is trying to catch a peacock bass or or something and he's got a gar instead he almost lost his pole congratulations son hey by the way it's almost time to shower but guys i've got nathalis ioli larva green larva incredibly camouflaged got this maroon stripe down his back right here guys we've got a green pupa and with the girdle on the underside of this leaf that right there was a very worthwhile endeavor. Guys, this one little plant, I'll bet if I keep looking, I'm gonna find more, but I know me, I better go put these things in a container because I'm gonna go photograph them. And if I don't, I'll lose them and I'll be upset. So I'm gonna go do that right now.
And there you have it, folks. In one short video, I gave you the entire life cycle of this dainty little butterfly, Nathalis Ioli. Guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. This girl wants to go to sleep so bad, but I want to get one more slow-mo shot out of her. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can scare her up and see if I can get a good shot. But guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Check out our website, it's www.keysmoths.com, where we have 590 species of moths from Florida Keys documented and about 100 species of butterflies, including this dainty sulfur. So guys, enjoy South Florida, take care.